Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So late night video tonight, but uh, we have an update possibly on the reveal date for GTA 6 or the time frame when this reveal date will happen. Now, I'm going to start off by saying to you guys, we don't know this 100%, so I would not get your hopes up uh, completely because there are people who are, you know, saying, oh yeah, it's confirmed, you know, GTA 6 will be revealed this December. We don't know that 100%. Now, um, I'm not trying to be negative or anything here, guys, don't get me wrong, but personally, I have just seen so many false leaks and people constantly talking about, about it, but this, to me, seems, I guess, a little bit more credible because Jason Schreier is the one who reported on this, and Jason Schreier is one of the most well-respected journalists who does have a good track record of being right. But um, Jason Schreier writes this on Twitter, and I will link his um, Twitter d down below. Breaking. Rockstar plans to announce Grand Theft Auto um, 6 as early as this week and will release a trailer in December. Sources tell Bloomberg News. The most anticipated video game on the planet will soon be revealed. Uh, so Rockstar plans to release anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. And um, I actually posted a... Um, a tweet and uh, my tweet actually already has um, over 800 views um, it's probably gonna get even bigger but basically uh, I talked about how regardless if this is true or not there's gonna be clickbaiters there's gonna be people who are gonna make a hundred videos on this post alone and each video will be over eight minutes long now just want to say that there is no reason why somebody should make, for me personally, more than one video about this. But there's going to be people, I guarantee you it, there's going to be people who are going to make multiple videos about this, probably three or four videos, and each video is going to be eight minutes long. And the reason it's over eight minutes long is just so they can put more ads into it, which I don't know how you can talk for more than eight minutes about just simply just, just a single tweet, um, uh, possibly predicting it. But Anyways, here, let's just read the article here, and this is by Jason Schreier also. This is the um, same guy. Rockstar Games, the division of Take-Two Interactive Software, Inc., plans to announce the next highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto game as early as this week, according to people familiar with its plans. The company plans to then publish a trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 next month to celebrate Rockstar's 25th anniversary, said the people who asked not to be identified because they weren't authorized to speak publicly. A spokesperson for Rockstar didn't immediately respond to a request for comments sent after business hours. No video game has driven uh, more fervor um, from fans and investors than Grand Theft Auto 6, which is expected to be one of the most significant entertainment releases of the decade. Its predecessor, Grand Theft Auto 5, has sold more than 185 million copies, and is the second best um, selling video game of all time behind Minecraft, which has the advantage of also being playable on phones. Rockstar has spent the last few years working to clean up its corporate culture and work-life balance after employees complained of burnout during the making of the last game, 2018's Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, uh, for people that don't know what they're talking about here, in 2018, there was reports coming out of Rockstar about Rockstar over severely overworking their, their employees when they were making Red Dead Redemption 2, that they were working very long shifts most of the week, and they didn't have much breaks. And for me personally, I hope this is not going on because I can wait for GTA 6. I'm not impatient like that. I don't want, you know, a developer that's making it to get stressed out and, you know, takes a toll on their mental health. And also the game also suffers as a result of that. But some fans, unfortunately, get a little bit toxic and they try to rush a developer. Uh, last year, hackers re released hours of early footage from Grand Auto 6. Rockstar blamed a network intrusion and said it will properly introduce you to the uh, next game when it's ready. Two UK teens were convicted of the hack in a London criminal trial earlier this year. The game set is set in a fictional version of Miami and features two protagonists, a man and a woman. That's Jason and Lucia. Bloomberg News has reported. Take Two is scheduled to report earnings on Wednesday. So tomorrow or today, technically, when I upload this video, that the um, the earnings are going to be happening. And me personally, um, what I think about this is I think that this is a way for take to interactive to boost their stock. I think there's definitely going to be a reveal coming out soon, uh, but I think this personally, this whole leak with Jason Schreier is to get people a bit excited and to help their stock because they have done this before in the past where they said that they're confirming, uh, that they confirmed that they're producing the next entry in the next GTA series. And uh, that's just personally what I think is take two is really, really big on their stocks, on their investment, um, on their, on their earnings and on, and on meeting with their investors. So that's just personally what I think. I think it's a way for them to grow their stock. Now, is this leak true? Um, it could be. 
Um, personally speaking, uh, my viewpoint on this, this has a lot more credibility than what the, the stupid clickbaiters constantly talk about, where they just talk nonsense. Uh, there will be just some some stupid crap where they'll say, like, oh, you know, former Rockstar Insider leaks this and that and that, and blah, 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 which you begin to wonder why they're a former Rockstar Insider in the first place and how they have this information, but that's never, you know, it's almost never uh, proven. Their, their claims are almost always nonsense. Uh, but in this case, you have a very well-respected journalist, video game journalist, who has a track record of being right, and Bloomberg News is also reporting on this, the same article by Jason Schreier. So it could very much happen here. Um, uh, I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, and I'm not saying that it is going to happen, but I'm saying I'm a little skeptical at the same time, too. Because me personally, and I'm not trying to be negative, guys, just I am. I'm not trying to. I know some people are going to say in the comments, "Are you being negative, professional?" We should be excited, but it's just for me personally. Is I have seen so many false leaks, so many false leaks over the years, and I have just seen so many clickbaiters that just milk nonsense constantly, over and over and over again. So it's very hard for me to believe when there's an actual leak because we've seen hundreds, hundreds of fake leaks. So this could very much be real, or it could not but it does have more credibility behind it. That is my personal thing. I'm not trying to get anybody hyped up, but I'm not trying to look at this from a completely negative perspective. I'm just being more real, which is the way that I look at it. This is my opinion. You know, feel free to disagree with me. Uh, but it's like I said, I just seen so much false um, uh, leaks around. But regardless, like I said, there are going to be people who are going to make dozens of videos on this. Dozens. And like, you know, weeks from now, you're probably going to have people still, you know, making videos on this, referencing this tweet constantly. You're going to have this tweet coming up over and over and over again. And like I said, there really is no reason to make more than one video about this. I'm only really making one video about this. When, they, when there is an actual reveal, when we see a trailer like that, if it does happen, you know, this week or in December, like, you know, Jason Schreier is saying, I'll react to it. I'll make a video on it. I'll definitely do a breakdown. Uh, but like I said, my personal viewpoint is I don't think this anybody should be really making more than one video about this. And it's certainly no reason why the video should be over eight minutes long. But people are going to milk this anyways. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think. Again, again, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to get anybody down, but this is just my personal perspective on it. It could very well happen. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm not saying it is going to happen, but that's just my personal viewpoint. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think it can happen? Uh, do you think it's fake? What do you think? And if you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, and I'm going to have a really cool Red Dead Redemption lore video for you tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.